Hello, welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. Today I'm going to show you how to load your ICC profile, the one that we're using for sublimation printing, onto a Windows PC and the software is Adobe InDesign 2022. So I'm going to op open up a blank template. You're going to choose A4. and import our image so there's two steps to the profile there'll be the first step is to tell the printer not to use its own color management which I will show you in this video the, the one we're using in question for this is an Epson printer and for some we're doing basically sublimation ink and the second step is to tell the software to use the profile if the printer's not using one the software's got to use one so we're going to go into file print and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to tell the printer not to use its current one so i'm going to go into the setup here select your printer so for us example let's just say we're using the let's just have a look see if we've got one here that one there right XP 4100 into the preferences now for me I know my the setting I want is plain paper high quality you will have separate settings you've been told for the paper type and the profile the way it's been built gonna go into custom advanced no color now please remember this bit here for the printing preferences your settings might be slightly different you need to refer to the instructions that you've got so I've now told the printer to not use its current profile and now what I need to do is I need to tell the software so I'm going to go into the color management and at the moment here you've got let it, you need to check that it says let in design determine the colors here so what we're going to do is we're going to find the ICC profile that we need so for me I know I need this one here now you will can, can scroll up and down your list until you find the ICC that you need if you can't find the ICC profile that you need then then basically it's a good chance that it's not installed so we've created the reset there now I do recommend you preserve the RGB numbers here and then what we can do is we can click save preset so if I click on save preset you can name this whatever you want so it was a4 paper so let's just call it a4 sublimation and click on OK and then we can press print and that's it you're done so it's really quite straightforward to do and just to take a shortcut for next time if I go into file print now when you go into color management again you can go and get your shortcut so let's just have a look see if I can find it color management print preset here we are a4 sublimation and that's it it updates these two settings here already and that's it it's quite straightforward thanks for watching